On Sunday, he was released from Polk County Jail after posting bond and apologizing to Mayor McCheese. <laughs> Louisiana man is creating a trailer park just for swingers. Okay. <laughs> All right. What could go wrong? You know, <laughs> never on the phone. <laughs> yeah, baby. Y'all got a wife and got a trailer. Grab your ball hitches and drop your britches. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, Mamou, Louisiana, uh, population 3,000, a guy by the name of uh, David Oqua is opening a place called T-Boys Swingers Trailer Park. <laughs> T spelled T-E-E, -E, not T-E-A. It's not a tea bag trailer park. No, no, no. But their motto is, and this is on the side, their motto is, bring your house and share your smell. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's on the side. It's a website of everything. Oh, <laughs> Bring your house and share your stuff. Uh, yeah, you can park her in the rear. <laughs> Put her on the flatbed if you have to. Yeah, she's a little bit of a fixer up. <laughs> <laughs> but what about me? I know, it's Louisiana too. They could have called a wife swap. <laughs> The owner is, uh, he said, it's gaining attention and it's getting ready to swing into southern Louisiana pretty soon. He said, you can come to Bamboo for many good things and this will be one of them. Cajun yes. <laughs> food and raging herpes. And the Bamboo Chamber of Commerce goes, whoa, 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 we haven't signed anything. <laughs> Sharon is Gary. I think that would also be a good thing for swingers, you know, Sharon and Karen. <laughs> He's opening it for couples who are into swinging. He says the swinger community is surprisingly bigger than you think. It's bigger than most people know. Uh -huh. well, well, let's see if he can fill up a trailer park then. <laughs> yeah. You know, the thing about it, you, you can't go home and get away from them. I mean, you, you're pretty much living there. I'm not too hip on these swinger scene, but I would imagine that might be right. You ought to do something off site. <laughs> 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 yeah. He put up a sign uh, with a swing of heart for me on it. Oh. And the sign says on it, uh, 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 not just to bring your spouse with your house, but it says, uh, it also says you have to send a picture of your spouse for oh. you. Oh, oh, that was my next question. Yeah. So, upscale swingers. <laughs> He's trying to beat that whole thing to people who are most willing to get naked. You probably don't want to see naked. So, get that 100%. Yeah. Could you imagine being denied from that trailer? <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, thank you for coming in. We do have a t shirt. <laughs> uh, he said he's going to have phone calls and text messages for the swingers all over the country. It's mind boggling. He says people are just calling or texting to see if it's real. And I mean, there's a phone number. I mean, he's wanting people to call the number and text. Them. He said, I'll be a frog's butt if it's not a real number. And there's the, the, the number is 337. Four, five, nine. Hold on, hold on, I'm trying to write this down. <laughs> I'll put it up on the country issues. Uh, I'll uh, send it. Oh, got it. Randy's acting like he's, he don't even already know about this. <laughs> John, I know you're a curious type, and I know you travel a lot. If you ever have the curiosity to go down there, please don't wear the tag me John Reed <laughs> 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 That's a good point. I gotta pay attention to what's on my head. The, uh, the grand opening is set for Memorial Day weekend of 2022. Uh, yeah, there's gonna be fireworks. <laughs> yeah, of course. Of all kinds. They'll have food. It's Louisiana, so they'll have a uh, etouffee buffet. Uh, all, all the crabs you can eat. <laughs> He said when it's finished, the site will have a nude pool, nude yoga, strip poker, and a cabana for a, for key parties. Y'all know what a key party is? Uh, no, uh, I know. I have no idea. I, I didn't either. <laughs> well, apparently that's where everybody puts their keys in a bowl and then pick one, and that's what you go home with. Uh, yeah. 
I'm guessing it wouldn't be a set of keys, just the one key. I don't know. See, that, that's another thing. I know it might be a downside to it. You have to keep your trailer nice and clean. You don't want to be embarrassed with that. <laughs> yeah, you get that. Right, you'll get that one key that unlocks the front door and starts the house. <laughs> Yeah, it's a, 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 the new pool, I mean, no one wants to go skinny dipping with Sal and his wife, Manila. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I'm uh, too hip to the new yoga and see that either. Yeah, <laughs> yeah uh, I'm not <laughs> He also says you can choose to live in the trailer park, but it's designed to operate more like a campground where swingers can come park for the weekend, I guess you can all the polling holes we can put in. Take the bird call now. Uh, they only have 30 slots open. Uh, <laughs> yeah, that was just like it right there. Yeah. <laughs> there you go, boy. The town may be small, but this is here. I'm serious, change your hat. <laughs> JohnReap.com, that's J-O-E-L-Reap.com, where you can find us country as podcast. He'll be playing the Punchline in Atlanta, Georgia, August 12th through the 14th, September 10th, 11th and 12th, at the Queen City Comedy Experience in Charlotte. Thank you very much, John. Have a great Have weekend. Have a good weekend, boys. All right, bud.